Well, time to cook. I've already had an old moot cider and now it's wine time. Cheers, my dears. So here I am cooking away and I was trying not to splash tomatoes all over me when I remembered I bought myself a present. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I can't believe I forgot I'd even bought this. It's an apron and it's got foxes on it. So adorable. Check it out. Foxes. I just got back to vote. It's about 20 past nine. Um, been to my mum and dad's for a bath, <laughs> which was so nice. And uh, I had dinner there as well. And we watched Big Bang and then caught up on narrowboat pirate videos um any other fans of narrowboat pirate on here um i adore heidi she's great speaking of other narrowboaters um narrowboat youtubers even i went for a walk yesterday along the canal and i saw boat dog traveler boat um so i instantly whipped my phone out i showed a video i'll go for a walk um tomorrow or saturday and see if i can um see if i can find if he's still there he might have moved on already um but I hadn't, I hadn't seen any of his videos, so I watched the first couple uh, last night and I really liked them. Uh, dogs are so cute. So yeah, new subscriber from me. I came away from my mum's with lots of lovely veg and I promptly just dropped this satsuma on the floor. Um, but this is much needed supplies, very grateful. I don't often eat satsumas because I'm a bit obsessive about the way I eat them and I just find them far too much effort. But uh, it's nice to have some fruit occasionally. What else have I got here? Ooh, veggies. Peppers. Uh, what else does this feel like? <gasps> I can tell that is an avocado. I love that. Special treat. I don't often, or I try not to eat avocados too often. Um, we've got calabrese, broccoli. Definitely one of my favourites. And some green beans of some sort or french beans or string beans and then we've got that's a courgette and ooh, is this asparagus Have a look uh there's some asparagus so these are flat some flat beans and oh look asparagus again not not very often so this is all from riverford riverford food uh they get a veg box i used to get one before i moved in with them um maybe i'll be able to get one again soon and also uh where is it <sighs> my mum also gave me a bottle of wine <laughs> <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna open right now i've turned off the heating i had it set to come on uh i think for an hour in the morning at six i, I always wake up cold at six um, so I had the central heating set to come on, but as it's been so warm the past couple of days and I've woken up sweltering, cold in the rest of the boat, but warm in the bedroom, um, I decided to turn the heating off. So was that a mistake? I don't know. We'll find out in the morning. Hmm. Well, I don't think I made the wrong choice. It's 15 degrees. So although it was a little chilly to get up to and I've got a couple of jumpers on, um, that's fine, 15 is fine, so at least it wasn't sweltering when I got up. Um, it's overcast today, so maybe it won't get too hot, but I better open some windows actually, I've just realised there's only a couple open, so I'll open the rest, get a blow through, and hopefully it won't get as hot as yesterday. I'm tackling the shower silicon this afternoon, or at least starting it anyway. I'm actually waiting for uh, a video to upload on YouTube and it takes like forever um especially with the internet on the boat it's not that great i thought while that's doing i'll start this so uh it looks like this is actually <laughs> on top of another one there's, i don't know if you can really see on the video but there's brown and then under here there's black so maybe it's just the lighting but it, it looks like <laughs> one on top of the other so we're just cutting this off um making the edge neat and then i'll re-silicon it the worst is off. 
And now I've got this really handy grouting tool, silicon thing, and this just helps get rid of the extra bits. So I've used it here. So. Just gets off some more of the big chunks without actually scratching the shower tray. Why do I start these jobs? <laughs> why i'm tired now i've only been going like 10 minutes but i'm i'm just tired today but here we go i'm making good progress so cleared off most of that side and this side um so just the other sort of side and a half to do and then i'll clean up the mess um why does every job involve mess it's one of those great unanswered questions isn't it all that silicon is now gone and I've cleaned it up except for that bit there <laughs> um, but everything else is as clean as it's gonna be so I'll just give it a wipe down now with a damp cloth wait for that to dry and then maybe do the silicon now I'm not sure I'm in the right outfit um, I don't really want silicon on these clothes so I might leave this to another day using my new S, uh, what's it called? Frying pan <laughs> today. Um, I got this from a jumble sale that I volunteered at. Um, well, they were calling it a rummage sale, but I know them as jumble sales. And I haven't had a frying pan for forever. Um, and so I got this one for 50p, and it's great. And I'm using it for asparagus. So I've just got some, um, it looks really fatty. I don't normally cook with oil, but this is sesame seed oil. And I'm just using it for flavour and I've got asparagus in here, I have potatoes in here, they're cooked, I'm going to put um, some mayonnaise on there and then in here, which is probably burning now, um, I've just got some other veggies that I need to stir. Now I'd normally cook the asparagus with some lemon and black pepper but I don't have any lemon so it's just going to be black pepper and sesame. So yeah, really chuffed at this frying pan, um, really great, really heavy bottom, so I'm really pleased with it. Just done the silicon now, and I'm gonna wait for it to dry now. It's a lot neater on this side because I started the other side, and I think I haven't done any for so long. I just completely cocked it up, so I had to spend quite a lot of time cleaning that up. Um, I put too much on basically and went everywhere. But yeah, this side is fine. Really happy with that. So that should take 24 hours to dry, and then I'll tidy up. Today I'm going to try and clean the bilge pump so it's not working on its automatic settings so it's probably got some dust or grime in the sensor so we're going to take that out, clean out the bucket that it sits in um, and see if we can get that working again and also if I get the chance try and start the engine so the starter battery will be dead so I'm going to um, give it a try but if it doesn't work I've got some uh, jump leads so I'll use the leisure battery to jump the boat and see if it moves check the the prop um gear and the weed hatch and check that's all fine because it's the boat's going to be moved this coming week for its blacking so i'm going to check that it's sound to start and move so see how we get on here's the bilge pump at the bottom of there and you can see the bucket's just filthy and full of crap uh, and that comes from these, when these fill up and it goes down the hole, but also just general dust from the um, engine bay. So I'll also try and clean out these uh, channels because I haven't done them in a couple of weeks and you can see how quickly they fill up with crap. Um, so that's a job for today as well. So I'm just getting the water out of the bucket because I can't actually get the bucket out on its own. without tipping water all over the engine bay. Okay, so now I can remove this and clean it out. 
and then uh, wipe off the I'm not sure where the sensor is but at the bottom somewhere so I'll just wipe it off with a cloth um, and see if I can clean it out A very awkward position to crouch in. So I think we fixed it, um, but I don't know how, <laughs> which is usually the way, isn't it? So this was uh, a bit higher and wrapped around with this cable tie. And then I spotted this clip that's, that sticks out. Um, I can't get it off now, but I, I saw this YouTube video where it said that all of these, so this is the box that makes it automatic, uh, otherwise it's just a pump and an off pump. So all of them said that they have a, a notch that you can clip onto the unit. Um, and I thought, oh, well, this one doesn't, so maybe it's not the right one. But then I noticed this little clip. So I basically took the cable tie off and slid it and it fits directly how it's meant to now. And then I put it in water and it did actually work. So either this automatic switch has to be a lot lower for the amount of water um, or just the act of moving it about has shifted some of the gunk. So we're going to put it back together, put the, the cable on. This is where the water goes out to the boat and that big cable. So I'll put it all back together, put it in the water, uh, fill the bucket and see what happens. Um, hopefully it'll work. If not, I've had enough for this job. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go for it. So there is a delay, so it's on now. <laughs> right, so that does work. The water's got to be a lot deeper um, than I thought. So I will show you again. We're going to fill up the bucket. It's set to auto. And yeah, I'll show you in action. I'll pour this water in and it should start on its own accord. There is a bit of a delay. Here we go. If you can't hear that, the water's going up this pipe through here and outside the boat. Look at that. Job done. So this is the weed hatch, should put me out on. And we're basically just gonna check it. Yeah, oh, this is stiff. God, I hope this is running. Right, well, there be a propeller, I think. <laughs> Can't see that on the phone. No? No. I'm not sure, like, it's, I, it's really flash. low down, so I don't think I'll actually be able to reach it with um, those gloves on. Yeah. Right, so what have I got there? Okay. Oh, I don't really want to put me out. <laughs> the weed hatch is all done, so we fastened that up, nothing in there, and now we're going to try and start the engine, but I'm going to leave that open in case it suddenly starts pouring with water. So I've just unclipped this, so I'm going to attempt to start it, um, but I've just realised I've left my instructions inside. Right, the lever turn 10 minutes clockwise. Probably it. <laughs> That's 10 minutes clockwise. The engine didn't start, so we've hooked up the jump leads to from a leisure battery to the starter, and we'll see if that works. It was difficult to connect up, so I might not have got the connection sound, but we'll see. <laughs> no. 